Parker, expected approach time 34, approach button 17, the altimeter 29 or 9 or 7. to the channel a little bit of a midweek news update and uh, one that I couldn't get into last week's video just due to time constraints and things going on in my life right now I'm very very pressed for time but Rasbam reached out and advised me that there is some cool information coming out this week in ED's patch and what we're seeing here is a nodding donkey static object we're seeing a ski ramp that has seen some adjustments now these ski ramps can be found in the airfield deck equipment category. Missions that did include the first iteration will of course now require adjustment when the new one comes out per the patch. Flight controls. Flight controls. They have also enabled sounds for all the frigates and of course HMS Invincible. They've added some launches with new weapon numbers for torpedoes. Uh, they have also done some work on HMS Invincible with regards to the Harriers, the AV-8B NAs now land on the flight deck instead of in the sea. Obviously you need to set the landing runway as per the value recommended by ED for those mission designers out there which is really cool. They have adjusted the position of offshore wind turbines to sit now at their pivot point on the surface of the water, which is cool news. I love these uh, offshore wind turbines. They look really, really cool. Now, more importantly, they have been working on the mainland and they've added several new airfields, including El Calafate Airport, Aeropuerto de Santa Cruz, and also Puerto Williams as well, down by Ishuaia. So... We've got some little towns and other structures being built around these airports as well. So it's not just the airport itself, which lends itself to a little bit more immersion. And one of the advantages here is that these airports and where they are placed further north on the continent allow us a little bit more access to that area. If you're one of those people that doesn't want to do uh, aerial refueling or doesn't want to spend an hour flying across the map or more to get to some of these interesting locations. Of course, if that's your thing, then this is definitely the perfect map for that and uh, certainly it's uh, it's a map that lends itself to a lot of long flights and interesting exploration of the incredible scenery that is the um, mainland of Chile and Argentina absolutely fantastic place and very very unique geography obviously large areas of tundra and then uh, surrounded by amazing mountains and of course work is ongoing at this time for development of new ground detail textures that's just a work in progress they did fix some um, collisions with RO4 hangars in some places so the team are continuing to update and upgrade the map I know some of you were dissatisfied with aspects of the mainland when the initial release came out and a reminder it is a early access map so these changes are to be expected they're ongoing and it will improve this map significantly and the work that i've seen thus far is pretty impressive i'm really enjoying these uh, little airfields where they are again offering that opportunity just to set up some interesting mission parameters or just plonk a plane on a airport apron and or parking area at least and then go explore from there or you may have noticed too with the uh, distance between these different airfields this is a perfect opportunity to set up some more helicopter missions and uh, have that opportunity to explore maybe at a little bit of a lower level as i said there's still some work in progress on the ground textures so not all of the areas that you are going to see uh, are updated this, at this time but uh, i promise you and i know for a fact in discussion with the rasbam team the map developers are working very hard on this and they are desirous to bring us some pretty fantastic scenery and this map is going to get better and better we are very very lucky with the number of maps that are currently coming into the game to bolster our flight experiences it's a really exciting time in dcs world right now uh, 
So let me know what you think. Uh, stay tuned for the patch. Hopefully that will be released tomorrow. And uh, yeah, carry on flying. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in for this news break. This is Prickly Hedgehog out. <laughs>